What is up, Streetboard family? Welcome back to the channel. Got another spot check for you today. We're in Colorado at Cushing Skate Park. I've got Brinton with me. Trish is hiding over by the mini ramp. And yeah, we're gonna have a session here and show you guys what this park has to offer. Yeah, yeah? let's get it. All right, let's do it. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. He's always stoked. All right, gonna strap in at the tippy top of the park and give you guys just the rundown of what this place has before we hit each obstacle. All right, so this is the highest point of the skate park. We have a mini ramp, and I think the extension's probably about six and a half feet, seven feet. And then it has a smaller section, which is like a maybe four and a half. It is a metal ramp, as you can hear. The rest of the skate park is concrete. Looks like there was an older park here to begin with, and then they just added a concrete modern section. So the mini ramp, it volcanoes over to this side, which has very small, almost like a half concrete bowl. A couple of different hips, you can manual between them, air over them. And the other side of the mini ramp, you have just a classic quarter to quarter hip. Nice and fun to hit you. And that takes you straight into the A-frame. And we'll go check that out in a second. One thing I do like is this mini ramp is actually a very good manual pad. Very low to get onto and very forgiving. And then off into this beautiful park. So this is what I would dub the upper street plaza because there is uh, a small stair set that kind of separates it from the lower street plaza. So let's start from the other side this time. We've got a bump to rainbow rail. Although it's a rainbow rail, you don't really hit that much of it. And then what Brinton just demonstrated was this nice hubble ledge that you can actually go up and use it as a bit of a kicker. So that's pretty fun. And then next to that, got the classic Euro Gap, London Gap, Wembley Gap, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. It's called a different thing, but yeah, little step up gap. Very small, very forgiving. Little three stair. And actually the run up for the three stair is this thing. So this is like the weirdest obstacle here. It's it's the favorite obstacle according to Brinton. He, I haven't seen him hit it once yet, so I call BS at the moment, but it is very cool. It has this uh, little kicker here where you can do like a spin off this and then you can spin straight down the three set that comes after it. So that's pretty fun. Very unique. I haven't really figured out anything on this multi-tiered section. If Jake was with us, I'm sure he would find something techy to do. But uh, yeah, it's a very, very, very cool obstacle. And it's kind of out the way. So it's probably for more like advanced riders and it doesn't get in the way of everyone learning tricks on the more conventional things that are here. All right, next up we have a slightly longer three block and a rail going down it. I'm actually not a huge fan of this, the way this is set up. I think the rail should have started at the top stair. So you can get on it early if you want, but it's always hard to jump at an imaginary beginning to a rail where it should be the edge of the stair set if you catch my drift. Now you can jump on it early, but like I said, it's hard to get your brain to want to jump at an invisible line. I'll jump early first, and then I'll show you how bad it is when you jump actually at the line. <laughs> and then this is how it's supposed to be hit, I guess. It's so small. So what the three stair does lead into is this funky double tiered ledge, which uh, Trish actually got a really cool trick on earlier. So maybe we'll get her to do that again for this video. Yeah, just something a bit different that you don't find in too many parks. It's just a shame that the rail kind of blocks the first part of the ledge. All right, let's roll into the lower street section. Got a nice hip. It's pretty mellow, very forgiving. Lots of distance, so if you want to spin, you can kind of go wide if you need to. Pretty grippy. You've got a very standard A-frame set up here. The rail is a little on the mellow side. And then you have a bump to out ledge, which I haven't hit yet, but it looks pretty good. And then we've got the more standard obstacles. We've got a flat rail, really nice, really low. What I really like about it is that you can drop down into manual and then you can pop up into the mini ramp, into another manual. Very fun, very fun. Lots of, lots of combos can be had there. And then of course you just have a standard ledge so you can practice your ledge tricks. So Brinton just promised me a lip slide, but now he's talking to Trish. So I'm just awkwardly standing here right now. Mm -hmm. 
So the park really stinks. There is a tree over there that apparently, according to Brinton, smells like dead animals because it attracts insects. I mean, it makes sense, but I don't know. So obviously I am not the best person to demonstrate how good or how bad a mini ramp is, but I will try to show you. It's, got a, it's definitely got a good transition. That is one thing I will say. Oh, it's kind of scary coming back in there. Oh, that was bad. I'll run that back, run that back. That's better. I mean, even the second one wasn't that great, but better than the first. If, if it was one more panel of the smaller section, that would be ideal because then you could use the extension to get speed for nice long grinds. Right, a little air over the hip. Hopefully a board side pretzel. Oh my God, I definitely clipped the rail. Oh. Definitely clipped the rail that time. Let's do that again. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Made it over that time. <sighs> All right, Brinton is gonna demonstrate how to do the hip. I'm making Brinton try backside now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I didn't notice, but there's a lot of bonk right there, right on the takeoff. So, it's scary. It's scary to find bonk on your way in. There you have it. Too much bonk. Big thumbs down. <laughs> So that's gonna be a wrap at Cushing Skate Park in Inglewood, Colorado. What did you guys think of the park? I always have a good time riding with you. Oh. That's, that's all that matters. Just touch my heart. Ride together, you know? Yeah, ride right together. Way. Yeah, it is fun and it was the perfect warm up for what we got planned for the rest of the day. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>